Aloha, my name is Mariko Strickland Lam, and I'm an Olukai ambassador bringing you this week's Anywhere Aloha episode. I'm going to be making a curry using locally sourced items, picking up things from my friends around the island, as well as in my garden. Come and join me. We take it from here, we cure it, and then once it's cured, we make the blend, and then we put it in our spice jar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're at Kauai Pharmacy. Check out my friend Doug. I had to pick up my favorite curry blend. They make this all in house, everything's grown here, dehydrated here off of solar. He let me also raid their garden a bit. Got a papaya kind of half ripened, some fresh turmeric and some actual curry leaves and i'll combine that with this super ono delicious curry powder <laughs> it's my all-time favorite um and yeah we'll go we'll go make a curry it's perfect i like old stuff so i go oh, mercantiles are like old yeah yeah, yeah. Like merchant so then, are and then mini stuff like yeah. oh look how mini's mercantile <laughs> That's your, that, that's like your great grandma. grandma. Oh, your great grandma. Yeah, everybody called it mini. It was like, when I moved back home, everybody started asking me for meat. So I, I, you know, I would talk to my dad. I'm like, dad, why aren't you selling meat anymore? And my dad's like, he's like in his 70s now. You know, he's like, basically, yeah. I cannot do everything. Like, yeah. raise him. Ranch is data. You know? So I was like, wow. And then the whole cattle, the whole industry changed where everybody was selling the meat off island, like selling the the calves shipping them to the mainland because grass fed beef was a thing now. Yeah. And something I never heard. I never heard that term before, you know? Yeah. Like it's just the norm for us. So, yeah, of course the grass fed, that's what they yeah. do. Yeah. Right? We would always just go buy at Kojima's. Yeah. So yeah. people just knew my family, so they started asking me. So I, so I just talked my dad into I'm like, hey, like, why don't you let me buy all your cattle? Because I didn't want him to ship it off. I wanted it to keep it here. Yeah. So that's how I got. And then so I started Rancher's Daughters Reserve. All you need is salt and pepper. With, with this meat, yep. all you need is salt and pepper. And that's why I think that's why um, I believe they came out with all the different steak sauces and all the different to give it the flavor because the meat didn't have the flavor anymore. So old wagon wheels too. Oh, you should my up. mom. So I was thinking over here now. Now that I have this roof coming up. So our garden's kind of in the stages of revamping, <laughs> but I'm getting a kaffir lime leaf, put in the curry, and some katuk. So, nice green leafy vegetable. It's supposed to be good for you. And that's it. We'll go make some curry. All right, so we drove the island from north to west and we got all of our ingredients now to make our curry. So I'm gonna go through what I have, where it's from, uh, the steps and how to make a curry, super easy in an in a Instapot or pressure cooker, all right? So, and if you have other items, feel free to use whatever you have, okay? Like for example, I only have two carrots in my fridge, so I'm only using two carrots, but some other items. All right, so what I do first is, I put the pressure cooker on saute mode um, this is some beautiful grass-fed tallow from my friend Charlene, rancher's daughter. So I'll put that in the pressure cooker along with some chopped onion, um, grass-fed beef from Charlene as well. She also shared some fresh heart with us. We're gonna try that up. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit more. Um, then I will peel some, peel and chop the garlic, or sorry, ginger, ginger and turmeric. That will go in along with kaffir lime leaf. Just uh, chop this up real fine. It adds a really beautiful flavor. Um, of course, pa'akai, Hawaiian salt. Thank you to Tara, my friend Tara Palama and Uncle Clyde Hashimoto. We're very blessed to have that on Kauai, out of uh, the west side. And then I'll add in um, curry powder. This is from 
Kauai Pharmacy, their curry powder, powder is amazing. It has curry leaf, turmeric, galangal, ginger, kaffir lime leaf, and Hawaiian chili pepper. Delicious. Also, fresh moringa powder. Look at the colors in that. And some fresh turmeric powder. So I kind of just, you know, saute all of that in. Um, get the beef kind of cooked down. And then what I'll do is, this will all be chopped up. I'll add in my carrots. I have some... Um, half ripened papaya from Doug's garden over there at Kauai Pharmacy. And then this is some butternut squash as well. Um, something else I like to add in is bell pepper if you have it. Um, and then also zucchini is nice in the curry as well, but I'll usually put the zucchini in very last so it doesn't overcook. Same thing with katuk. I'll just kind of, these are really nice. You just kind of go like this and put it right into the pressure cooker and that cooks very quickly. So once all that's kind of cooked down, this is kind of softened up your heart, heartier items. That's when I add in the coconut milk, okay? And this is actually some nice fresh coconut milk that I made. I uh, had some, you know, thick meat with the, with the water, just blended it up in the Vitamix. And then my secret ingredient that I add to my curry is actually some honey, some Kauai nectar honey from my friend Robin. Um, this honey is unbelievable delicious you can order this online you can order all of the spices online at Kauai pharmacy i'm not sure if charlene ships her beef off island but if you're on Kauai, you should definitely um go check out minis mercantile and call hill all right i hope you guys give it a shot and make some curry and get creative happy aloha friday and thank you for joining me for anywhere aloha fridays I hope you get inspired to make your own curry or any type of dish sourcing locally uh, wherever you may be around the world. Mahalo Olukai and take care.